What's up internet, I'm Manish from rebellionrider.com and I'm back once again with another PL SQL tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we will continue with the database event triggers and learn how to create a database event log of trigger. But before moving ahead, I highly suggest you to watch the previous tutorial where we discussed all the necessary theories on database event triggers in detail as well as saw the creation process of database log on trigger. That being said, let's start today's tutorial. Unlike log on database event trigger, which fires after a valid login attempt by a user on the database, log of triggers execute before the user log off from the database. Let's see how to create a log of database event trigger. For the demonstration, I will use the same table HR underscore EVNT underscore audit which we created in the last tutorial. As you can see, this table has five columns that will hold the type of event along with the logon and log of date and time. Also, this table already has some data from the previous tutorial. I think we should empty this table so that we can take a better look at the output from our log of trigger which we will write next. Great, now we are good to go. Next, I will write a trigger which will execute just before the user in which it is created logs off from the database. In our case, that user will be the HR user. But before that, let's close this script output panel and this query result also and clear the screen. Great. So let's write the trigger. So here is our trigger. Code is pretty similar to the log on trigger except that this trigger will execute before the log off event and work for the schema in which it is created. The keyword on schema makes this trigger a schema level trigger which only works for a specific schema. In our case that schema is HR. After successful compilation this trigger will insert log off detail into the underlying HR underscore EVNT underscore audit table every time user HR logs off from the system. Let's execute. Trigger compile successfully. Let's check the table HR underscore EVNT underscore audit for the detail entry. No rows return because HR user hasn't logged off from the database yet. So let's first disconnect the HR user and connect again and then check the table. Here is the entry as desired. This signifies that our trigger is working properly. Though the trigger is compiled successfully, but this trigger is bound to work only for the user in which it is created. What if we want to keep track of all the log of activities of all the user of the database? In order to achieve this, we need to write a database level system event trigger and for that, we first need to log on to the database using our high privileged user such as sys. And here we are. Next we need to create the same table which we created earlier to hold the data. Let's quickly create one. The table structure is pretty similar to the one which we created in the last tutorial except that this time I added an extra column username with the help of which we can clearly identify the details and avoid the confusion. Great, I swear sometime my OCD kicks in at right time. <laughs> Anyways, let's move ahead. So now the ground is all set. It's time to write the log of database event trigger for all the users of the database. This trigger will be very similar to the one which we just wrote with some small changes. So let's write the trigger but before that let's compile this create table statement and create the table. Great. Now let's clear the screen. 
Okay, all set. Now let's write the trigger. Here it is. Code is very similar to the previous one except that this time this trigger will execute for all the users of the database. This we are making sure by using keyword database instead of schema in the second line of the trigger unlike the previous trigger. This makes this trigger a database level system event trigger which has database wide scope. And if you have noticed in this trigger we also used an attribute user using this we are inserting the name of the user who logged off from the database. Apart from these minute changes everything is the same. You can visit my website and check the blog on the same topic for more details. So let's execute this trigger. Trigger compiled successfully. Amazing. Next time any user logs off from the system this trigger will save its entry into the underlying table. We can check that by logging HR user off from the database and see whether we will get any entries in this table or not. This worksheet is connected to the database using HR user. Let's confirm. Yep, it is indeed HR. Now let's log off. We are disconnected now. Now let's come to the worksheet where we are connected to the database using sys user. Here we are now. Let's check our db underscore evnt underscore audit table. Okay, here is the entry for our HR user. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, then you know what you have to do. Yes, that's right. Hit the thumbs up button. Also, share this PL SQL tutorial with your friends on your social media or by any means you find convenient. Thank you for watching. I will catch up with you soon. This is your friend Manish from rebellionrider.com signing off for today.